Hey there, I wanted to show you something really cool that I just got running, but first, share a story of frustration. So Friday night, I was working on parts for Gus Simpson. If you haven't checked it out, definitely do it online. This is a, a printer that works unlike any printer you've seen before. It uses these proportional gear drive joints. Um, anyway, I was trying to print them on my Cossel here, slightly larger than normal Cossel, and I was getting all kinds of failures. So using a brainwave for that. Brainwave's kind of like a printer board or, or ramps electronics with an Arduino. Connects to your computer, your computer drives it through something like Repetier, and the USB connection streams uh, all the G codes. So I couldn't figure out what was going wrong. You notice all these failures are at different points in the print, and sometimes there'd be a little bit of a, a skip, like this one had a bit of a point where the, the layer shifted. Other times it would just stop running, and other times it would go into a mode where it would creep along one move per second didn't make any sense. So I said enough is enough. I have this Beagle Bone Black which has been working great for me and I wanted to show that because I haven't seen any videos of people run actually printing with them. So Beagle Bone Black is kind of like a complete computer in an Altoids 10, about that size. And so it's got the memory, it's got a CPU, it's got everything it needs and it's right now connected to my Mac running Linux CNC. So I'll show you that. This is running through X. So all the real beef is running here. This is just kind of a remote window into it. Linux CNC is typically used for mills and lathes and all kinds of big equipment that can hurt you. And it's been around for at least 10 years to my knowledge. And so it has all kinds of code that can help you uh, run all kinds of uh, shapes of robots, uh, printers. So this is connected to a Bebopper, which is kind of like ramps. It has sockets for stepper boards. These are DRV 8825s from Palolo. It's all running 16x micro stepping. I've got an output for the extruder. I've also got an output for uh, the bed. This is an Onyx bed. And there's one unused that I'll probably connect to a fan eventually. It's all running off a regular 12 volt ATX power supply. Um, and now I'm doing much better. So this is a Simpson motor arm. This is not a trivial part. This is about a five hour print, maybe six depending on how tuned your printer is. Pretty huge, right? This is over 100 grams of plastic. This is one that I printed on this machine with the brainwave that actually succeeded, but I just couldn't get it to keep printing. So I eventually I switched. And last night I've had nothing but success with it. In fact, the first print was this little giraffe. Came out perfect. And actually the, the second print I ever tried with it was this one. This is a slave arm came out perfect. And I wanted to zoom in and, and kind of show you the quality I'm getting after doing some calibration. That's pretty much perfect top solid. Side layers are, are really good as well. Let me show you the other part. I think it came out slightly better once I did some tweaking with the uh, Bowden. Really good, right? Especially that top right there. Totally even. A little better than what I was getting before with occasional gaps. So that may be because this computer, because it's because the BeagleBone Black is directly generating the steppers, there's actually a, a multiple embedded little microcontrollers that are driving the steppers. You don't have to worry about the limited electronics here. This is a little 16 megahertz AVR compared to a full gigahertz plus dual 200 megahertz 32-bit microcontroller. So there's just so much more muscle here to get much smoother, more precise motion. This is running a machine kit. Machine kit is effectively an SD image that you can run and it has Linux CNC pre-compiled, so I didn't have to add much to get this running. I did have to run Jeff Epler's Linear Deltakin's uh, kinematics module, which worked great out of the box for me. I just had to then port over my configuration from Marlin. And the Castle, if you're curious, uh, it's pretty quiet. I made a few mods for that. There are these Astrosyn uh, vibration isolators. You can see it in, no, it's kind of hidden by the onyx right now. Can't see that. It's also got these sorbothane bumpers on the bottom. Kind of uh, fun to play with. They're really squishy. And they seem to prevent the vibrations from the printer from transferring to the table and getting amplified. And then the other bit that's a little different than the standard Castle is instead of having uh, recirculating ball rails, these are my uh, carriages for Castle. These aren't thing averse that. Um, replace the ball rails, and these descend from Steve Graver's Cerberus. So I'll add some links to the YouTube uh, video section. Definitely uh, check it out. Looking forward to having a, a working Simpson soon.